Good, what are we everyone? Afternoon everybody. This is Adam from Adby Media and look it's a, another video in the same week. We're getting a bit ahead of ourselves aren't we? <laughs> look no, look I, I want to get more content out to you guys and um, I know that people are watching and subscribing so I don't want to let people down. Um, so look yeah I'm trying to get some more content out to everyone sort of as quick as I can and um, relevant content not just crap that is putting up there for the sake of putting it up there. Um, so, as you can see straight up there is uh, the website for my company, adv.media. So feel free to jump on there and check out what we've got. Um, what we're gonna do today is install a build for Cody um, that is apparently a lot like the Apple TV. I haven't seen it. I have um, saw a review on it. Um, I've read up a little bit about it, but the idea of what I'm doing is doing something new for both of us to see what it's like. Um, so I can install it, find out how long it's going to take and all that sort of thing. Um, I have a, um, a reasonably okay speed internet connection here. Uh, let's just do a speed test. Oh. So we know what sort of connection we're looking at. So at the moment I'm getting around your sort of 80 to 90 megasecond, which is for Australia that's getting up above the maximum speeds that we can get here um, and the upload speed should be around the 40 mark which is yeah which is about the maximum we can get here in Australia so what I will do um, I'll just grab something over here on the other screen and I will load up Cody now if you want to know how to install Cody I did that in the previous video but I will put it as a marker somewhere around here um, so we can uh, so you can walk through that if you need be. Um, so we'll just have that there's Cody for us coming up. Just make sure it's nice and big on the screen there. Okay, now the build I'm getting is the Serenity build um, for Cody 17.6. Um, this is from Dimitronics. Um, I've used these guys before with a few of their builds and They've been really, really good for the quality. So, who knows, they might be exactly the same for the quality this time. Um, it looks like they've made a few changes to it. You can go straight to their website and have a look at it um, before you install it. Uh, you don't have to, obviously. You can just check this out. So what we want to do first is add a source. Um, so I'm just getting rid of the light that I've got beside me because it's annoying me. <laughs> so to add a source, we go up to the middle cog here on the screen, um, up to the very top, it looks like a little cog, and we click on that. And then we want to go to File Manager, which is down the bottom, um, the bottom row, second, is it the last one? It's the last one on the screen now. Um, so we click on that, you use your keyboard, your keyboard will work exactly the same. And on the File Manager screen, we want to go Add Source. Okay. So now in this screen here, what we want to actually do is enter the information um, to where we're connecting to to get the source, the, um, the files to get this version or this build to work. Um, so up here where it says enter path or browse for the media location, the path we want to enter, I'm just going to copy and paste because I'll make, that makes it easier for me. Because um, it's on my other screen so I can easily just copy and paste is http colon forward slash forward slash dimitronic dimitronic whatever however way it's <laughs> pronounced um, so d-i-m-i-t-r-o-l-o-g-y dot com forward slash repo now once that is in there press ok and at the bottom here you name that whatever you like typically when i name something i put a dot at the front of it, because um, that makes sure it's at the top of the list and I can easily see it. So I'm just going to call it um, Jimmy um, and then go OK. So that is now added. Now if there was a problem adding it, it wouldn't have actually linked there. It would have just stopped and said I've got an error and can't continue. Um, so we know that that's worked OK by, going, by that coming up. So what we want to do, I want to go back to the main screen. I want to click on, but going back to the main screen, all I did was hit the escape key on my keyboard until I got back to the main screen. 
um, and then we'll back here. Now, if we want to go to um, the system files again, which is this guy with the cog, which is um, up, up in the top in the middle. And we want to go to, where are you add-ons? Add-ons should be there somewhere. Let's just go back to screen, maybe I'll skip a step there. Oh, there we are. Add-ons is actually on the main screen here. So if we go to the main screen, go all the way down, um, you, you've set between radio and pictures, click on add-ons. It's getting warm here at the moment. We'll make it in the uh, high, um, high 30s to 45 here today, and I work in my garage, so there's no air conditioning. Um, but you don't want to know my problems, obviously. <laughs> so, and then we go to um, the little box up here in the top left and we want to go install from zip file so that's a one click on there now it's just saying to us for security reasons it doesn't like adding unknown sources an unknown source to Cody is something that's not developed by Cody so what we want to do is just go to settings and unknown sources we want to allow so we want to just um, go yes to that message now we want to get, hit escape again on our keyboard and it will bring us back to the add-on browser screen and then we want to go install uh, from zip and at the very top as you can see there we've got the dot dimmy folder which the reason it's right at the top is because we put that dot there at the start so it would be easy for us to find so and then we want to click on that that will go up to the World Wide Web and grab and give us a list of the files that we need. Um, so what we want to do now, we want to have a look under all those repos here, and we want to find plugin dot video dot So there we go. There it's oh, what is it on the first screen? It's right down the bottom, um, the second from the bottom. So. We just want to do one click on that. And at that stage, that's gone away and started to install that plugin. Um, so it, it's going to go and install it. It could take a second, it could take five minutes. Who knows? At that time, now that we've clicked on that, uh, we just have to wait, obviously, till the notification comes up. But it will be under the program folder. So typically when I'm installing something like this, I just basically go back and wait. There we go. Up in the top corner, you can see that the repo is installed. Um, so we didn't have to wait too long there at all. Um, so we'll want to go all the way back to the home. And we'll see right there, under add-ons, we'll see the Dimitronic, Dimitronics, <laughs> whatever. Um, icon under program add-ons. Um, so what we want to do is open that up and we want to install an update. Now fresh start will actually clean all of this off um, Cody so we have to install this again. Um, so we want to actually go install update Please enter a code. So typically with Dimitronics, you always have to enter a code um, for their software. It's just simply run lock it. They're not tracking you. They're not doing like that. And they're not getting any personal information. Um, they just literally want to count how many people are using their software. Um, so they're not wasting their time building this stuff because they're building this stuff free of charge for you. They're not wanting any money. They're not seeking money. They're doing it nine times out of 10 for the love of it. Um, so they just simply want to see if what they're doing is worth it. So we just simply go OK there. Um, so that comes up. I'll pull the website across um, in just a second so you can see it. Okay. There's the website there. Um, now the code is going to be different every single time. Um, so you won't be able to use my particular code here. Uh, so I'll minimize that. Click on code and I'm going to paste that in. Oops. And then we go OK. OK. Click on the two little guys here and install again. Now it's going to give us a list of um, builds that we want to install here. 
Let me just go back to my website. That's a phone call that can wait. Um, the beauty of running a business when you're trying to do videos. I'm just gonna go silent. Um, so what I want to do there now is click install, which we've done. And we wanna find the Serenity Build um, version two. So let's just have a look see through here. Oh, no, we don't want that one. Serenity. I might be blind here guys, but I'm not fine. Oh there we go, this Serenity version 2. Yep. I, I was blind there for a minute. It's three from the top guys, so we just want to click on So we want to click on four there, guys. My uh, computer decided that one to uh, check, chuck a hissy fit there for a minute. Um, so it um, cracked the shits and decided that one didn't want to continue. So I needed to just start uh, my code off again. Um, so by clicking on four, okay, by clicking on four, that will make a nice full install for us. So that will go through now and start downloading the content that we need for this build. Um, so it, as you can see, it's downloading for me at a decent speed, so it shouldn't take long at all. Depending on your speed, um, it may take, I don't know, f five minutes, two minutes, whatever. Um, it gives you an ETA, but the ETA for these things aren't all that good. Now, um, the question has been asked for me in the past, do you need a VPN to run this. What's a VPN? It just stands for Virtual Private Network. Um, I don't think so. Uh, it's a third party add on for Cody. It's entirely up to you. Uh, there's plenty out there to choose from. Um, if you want to ask more about a VPN, uh, pop a comment below. I'm more than happy to answer any questions on that. Um, if you want um, some advice on VPNs, again, please ask below. If you're loving or liking it, even, what I'm doing, give me some thumbs up, subscribe, and hit that um, bell beside the subscription and get all the updated content that I'm doing. Um, I'm going to be trying to do more and more little general hints every day. Um, it's almost done there, no error, so it's just extracting that now. It's actually just downloaded that file onto your computer temporarily, now it's extracting it and installing it within Cody. Uh, so it shouldn't take that long at all to finish off doing what it's doing. Uh, and then we can have a little bit of a play and see uh, what's there. Uh. So it's all like, it's like watching paint dry, isn't it? When you're waiting for something to finish, when you're actually doing it yourself, it's normally like that. But when you're actually sitting here with a camera and waiting for it to happen, um, it's just like watching paint dry. So if there's any episode suggestions or information you want to know, please ask below. As you can probably see here, where are we? On the left hand side of me on there, um, I've actually got a um, retro gaming system there. So I may do a review on that as well in the next couple of days or over the next week. Let me know if, you, if you're interested in seeing that. It's got about 600 games from um, when I was growing up, so sort of the 80s and 90s. Um, so I'll have a bit of a look at that. Um, I'm thinking about doing, having a giveaway on one of the boxes here. As you can see behind me here, one of those ones there. Um, so if you're in for giveaways and love free stuff, uh, jump on and comment below and um, actually jump on my website and um, have a bit of a look at the website and leave a comment in the contact area too, that would be great. Um, here we go, we'll finish, okay. So the skin will now reset. To start using the new setup, please switch the interface, okay. So we can do that. Okay, so we go, okay. We wanna go up to the little cog again. We wanna to go to interface settings, one click. Up, 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 up. It's just doing some more extracting. Um, and we wanna to go to, where are the skins? And we wanna go, 
to Serenity. One click. And do we want to keep these changes? Yes, we do, please. Thank you very much, sir. And now we go back. Oh, it's pretty sad when you laugh at your own jokes, isn't it? Um, so we go back again. And as you can see, that has changed dramatically from what it was when we first came in. Um, look, it looks all right. Um, it's loading some content now, now so it's loading um, popular stuff there at the moment. Um, so it's just bringing up the popular screen. Um, obviously we've got the date up there in the corner, we've got settings, apps there. Um, so we've, got, we've got movies, we've got TV shows, we've got um, Hobbyant, whatever that is. I think that's just an add-on. Um, Bob Unleashed, it's another add-on. TV One, channels. Um, I just use my mouse for that, but you can use the keyboard as well. Um, what have we got? We've got add-ons, favourites, YouTube, um, tweaks, you know, lots of other stuff down there. UK playlist, not sure why that's, that's a weird one. Uh, Supreme Box, a lot of these ones I haven't actually heard of a great deal, but I guess they're just add ons um, to be able to watch stuff. Project D, that looks like a sports area. Uh, Pro Sport, Bob Sports, Sports Devil, um, USA Today, we get a lot of stuff there. Um, okay, let's, let's click on say, I'm going to exit out and see if that refreshes the screen a little bit because um, obviously and that's what it did say to do so if, you, if your screen doesn't refresh and brings up all the updates up on the top just um, exit out of it and come back in and see if it cleans it up for you exit 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 it's coming up uh, Record is recording, that's great. Um, so, and we'll go back to Cody. I'm guessing it's meant to come up with something in the middle there, which it hasn't as yet. Um, auto clear on start for us. Oh, that's pretty cool. I'm just moving the mouse um, up and down. I'm not even clicking or rolling anything that's moving the screen up and down, so that's pretty cool. Um, okay, let's just click on TV shows and see what happens there. As it's a true, okay. In progress, featured, popular, most voted, new TV show, turning, kids TV, TV collections. It's got a pretty good mix of stuff there, isn't it? Okay, let's go to another gun, kids TV, because I've got a four year old. And we watch a lot of stuff like that. TV, kids TV. Bit sluggish. Um, I don't know. I mean, I'm getting 100 meg a second at the moment, so I'm not sure whether that's it or uh, it could be something else. I mean, my computer's a fairly decent speed computer. Um, yeah, it's actual layout's not too bad, I can see things okay. Um, the feel of it seems alright, it's easy to manoeuvre around, it just seems a little bit sluggish, doesn't it? I mean, it hasn't even come to that screen there, so I'm just going to go back. we go to animated stations. It's taken a while to load. Look, you might have better success once you're in there. Um, there we go. Lego City, Lego Friends. It's all about Lego, but look at it. Um, Lego Marvel Hero, Lego, Lego, Lego. Um, so there's some stuff. Oh, yeah, there we go. So we'll come back to the main screen here. It just took a while to come up. Um, but there's your um, popular TV shows and movies that have come up the top there. Um, Olaf's Frozen Adventure. I've watched that quite a few times with my daughter. And look, as an adult, I, I still recommend to watch it. It's bloody funny. Um, Minions. So we've got all the movies up there. Um, Vivian the Beast, the original Jumanji. Um, so, and we've got Doctor Who, TV shows. Let's go to say Family Guy. See how long it takes to come back. I just got a message. 
uh, people telling me how hot it is in Sydney. It's great, I'll leave you around how hot it is. Um, so, okay, it took a few minutes. I love how it lays out the seasons there. It's quite user friendly to see. Um, let's go to season 16. Yeah, nice layout of it, isn't it? Just very well done there. Um, Dog Bites Bear. That's the latest one, so let's see if that loads up. Preparing sources. So the, what that is, it's just going out, pulling down um, where the links are on the internet. I'm not sure whether these guys use their own links or whether they um, have other people's links. I'm, I'm not sure how they're actually doing that. Um, here we go. We've got some HD links on the side there. Um, look, Google links here. If you say Google link, it's normally the best ones to use. Um, but I'm just going to try the 721 right up the top there. The page speed of authorization is required. Um, no, I'm not going to do that. It's a little bit annoying, so it's going to go down. No, I'm not going to do that again. So it's then going to go down to the next one. So you don't have to worry about selecting it again. It's just going to keep going down to a fine time. Um, so that's a little bit annoying to start with, isn't it? But um, it's asking us for that. And it's taking quite a while. What's the sound number four now? found one by the looks of it and here we go with loading it is getting quite stifling in here at the moment as I said before I'm in my garage and my office is and no air conditioning just a fan back there but it's getting quite hot There we go. There's an episode of Family Guy. That's a um, not a high definition one, but it's definitely watchable. Um, so it's a little bit annoying how that actually worked, but that's okay. I mean, let's go to movies. And we'll go. Top rated movies. So we've had a look at a TV show. Overall, I wasn't all that happy with how that came up. Um, good mix of movies there. Time of the Doctor. Oh, there's a movie of the new Doctor Who. Um, I'll find something reasonably near you. I mean, you've got Disney collection, collection, it's a collection of years, all that stuff down there. You don't need to this. I said how good Frozen is, so let's just see how quick that loads up. Comparing sources again. Overall, out of a 10, I'm probably giving this at the moment about 6. Um, it's got a beautiful layout, but it just seems a bit sluggish and a bit slow to use. Um, it looks like it's had some updates recently. Look, it might work better on a TV box, like one of the, one of the Google TV box, not Google, sorry, Android TV boxes, um, directly to your telly. But at the moment, on, on a PC that's got 16 gig of RAM and it's an i7 processor, um, and it is really sluggish to find anything. Um, so I want to go high definition source again. To see how quick that comes up. on the second one, it's found something on the second one, we'll see how that quickly that actually loads up. And did that just drop, it looks like that just dropped out, so we'll give it a go again. And it found it on the second one, so we'll just go into the second one. And it just dropped out again. We'll go to the third one, give that a go.
look, to be fair, it could just be that movie, so we'll try Jumanji. Let it find its sources. And let's go with, I really like the H, uh, HD one. Um, Google's got a one down there, it's not HD, but it, I'm going to go to the very top one again because that's typically what most people would do, go to the top one and then go from there. Um, what I will do, hopefully tomorrow, I will do a, um, yeah, we're getting that open source stream authorization rush again. So we'll see if that comes up. Um, I'll, I'll do a sort of demo on something that does similar things to this type of Cody box. Um, and to show you the difference, Cody was developed for something very different than doing movies and TV shows and stuff like that. Um, so, to be fair, it, it, we, we can't be too nasty on it. So, well, that's just it, guys. I mean, really, um, you can take your own opinion, you can jump in and have a look at the download itself and to see whether you get better results than I did. Um, but as a review of that build, Grim Shakalaka build, <laughs> the Shakalaka build for, uh, it's mm, an average if best. I mean, I, I got nothing to load really well. Um, could be my setup. It could be. I'm, I, I'm not going to give that um, something that might not be. Um, but give it a go guys. Again, if, if you're happy with what I'm doing, please subscribe. If um, you've got any suggestions on stuff you'd like me to look at or review or um, do a demo on, I'm happy to. And um, have a great weekend.